<laughs> another hue, another Welsh hue, H U W, on bass here. Usually stand up bass, but he's gone all modern on us tonight, electric bass. Greg, who's Greg Sterling, is a lot of feedback. Greg Sterling came up from he's come up from Cardiff for us tonight. And um, Neil down from Colwyn Bay. Neil Yates has not played for us here previously. Neil is another musician of Hughes standing and so on. Can you hear me at the back? No, no. 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 okay. And Neil's been all over the place. Neil has a particular interest in Celtic fusion music, Celtic and jazz and so on. has been here, then, everywhere, in a little caravan listening to Celtic music and playing it all over the place. And he plays a strange combination of trumpets, trumpet, flugel horn, and penny whistle. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> He's got two nuts. So, anyway, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Diamond Express.
Thank you very much. Uh, you listen to the great Neil Yates on trumpet. Neil Yates. <laughs> great stir on the saxophone. Uh, that's, uh, that's quite a well-known tune by uh, Abdullah Ibrahim, uh, who, if, you don't, if that name doesn't make any sense, uh, Dollar Brand probably makes some sense from the 60s, one of the first guys to play this kind of South African influenced jazz. Uh, that's a tune called Manenberg. And uh, next we're going to play, uh, the great thing about music is, you know, you, you, you think you know lots of music and then all of a sudden you hear something in, right in that area that you know lots about that you've never heard before. So I heard a band this week uh, online uh, from the 90s, I think, called the Africa Jazz Pioneers. Anyone ever heard of them? No, me neither. A bunch of South African guys playing Quela, which is uh, another kind of... Uh, former Township Jazz, like a kind of 1280 feel. So, we're going to feature Neil Yates on Penny Whistle, and this is called Bra and Tenby's Quail.
few more moves on the base, a few more moves. Yeah, I guess that's a kind of earlier style of South African jazz from the 50s, maybe 50s and 60s. Uh, next we're going to play a piece uh, written by the great uh, Chris McGregor. There was a band called the Blue Notes, which, uh, weirdly enough, it's not just that I picked this music because I, I like it. There's a kind of trail and a story behind all this. A band, a band called the Blue Notes, which were uh, four black guys and one white guy, Chris McGregor, the piano player, were the kind of leading guys in the 60s in South Africa. They left South Africa because it wasn't possible to play together publicly. Uh, and many other political reasons, obviously, but um, they, and they came to London, uh, which is very fortunate for, for the UK scene, because uh, all of these tunes that we're playing, we've kind of learned secondhand from people who played with, with those guys, like Jimmy Pumpuana, and uh, this is a tune of Christian Burgers anyway, and it's called Angel Imari, Angel Imari.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a tune of mine called Hackney, um, which is dedicated to a uh, Suki's guitar player that I used to play with, a great, great uh, Congolese guitar player called Moses Fan Fan. And um, we used to play in a band called Soma Soma and rehearse in, uh, in Hackney at a place called Genanto Art Centre. And uh, as amazing a guitarist as he was, he had no sense of geography. Uh, and it was really interesting because he used to phone me for a gig and it would always be you know, in the days before emails and faxes and stuff, it would always be, uh, you, can you play a gig Saturday? And I'd say, yeah, I'm free Saturday. Uh, he said, and he'd say, uh, meet at Janaco Arts, 10 o'clock. And I'd say, wait, where's the gig? You know, and then you could hear his diary rusty. And uh, sometimes he would say things like, I've got a dean. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes, once I called, he called me and he said, you, you free for a gig Saturday? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm free. He said, meet Janaco Arts, 10 o'clock. I said, okay, where's the gig fan fan? He said, uh, uh, Russell, Russell, Reading. <laughs> Which is about half an hour from now. Um, we're going to take a little break, uh, but before we do, please, Greg Stowe and on the saxophone. <laughs>
set. Uh, we're all completely hydrated now. Uh, please give a round of applause. Zoo Warren on the drums. Neil Yates on the drum board. Greg Stern on the drum Hugo Williams on the bass. I, uh, I meant to say before we uh, before we finished actually, um, we do have some CDs for sale. Very good jazz musicians business skills, you know. Probably before the interval, when you can go and buy them, I tell you about them after. But uh, there's some nice CDs over there, some of the old friends of mine. Uh, have a look. As June Taylor says, we've got an awful lot of dependents between us. Not all of the children either, you know, animals, uh, tortoises, and rabbits, that kind of stuff. So, have a look at the CDs, and uh, do you have any DVDs available for Neil's got a DVD, how posh is that? Yeah. No, they might, you never know. Okay, we're going to start off, as it's so warm in here, we're going to start off with a tune that's called Stay Cool. Thank <laughs> you. 